Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. You know, over the years, I've encountered many different species out there on the internet. My videos, by virtue of their content, have led to interactions with countless communities stretching across every political and mental illness spectrum you can think of. But throughout all of my travels, no group has exemplified more unhinged and deranged behavior than e-girls. And look, I'm not some mindless brute who's like, <laughs> Eco dumb, huh? Only fans? <laughs> Was that your only plans? Like, I, I genuinely don't care what e girls want to post. You want to post pics, safe for work, not safe for work, have an OnlyFans, don't have an OnlyFans. I don't care what you do with your body, it's your choice. But I do care about your unhinged behavior, both public and private, that shows that you are a genuinely terrible and toxic person. And I can speak from experience because. There's no type of person I've gotten more blowback from covering on this channel than e-girls. Even in the past year alone, from the videos involving them, e-girls and their communities have attempted to dox me, file false takedowns my videos, offer me bribes to delete my videos on them, among much more. So I wasn't exactly shocked when this now insanely viral Twitter thread was posted a few days ago. For context, the Twitter user posting this was a member of an e-girl group chat, including users with millions of followers on social media. And some time ago, their account was suspended. But curiously enough, when your Twitter account is suspended, it doesn't kick you from group chats you're actively in. So when this user was reinstated after several months of being suspended, they found themselves still in this e-girl group chat, a chat filled with a whole host of mind-blowingly toxic chat logs, chat logs that this user shared with Twitter. To give you an idea of how bad they are, every e-girl in that group chat, except for one hilarious outlier, has either deactivated or had their accounts suspended. So join me as we comb through the most foul e-girl group chat DMs of, well, probably just this week. So here we are at the ground zero of this controversy, the thread that gives us a peek into Willy Wonka's factory. We get to see how the chocolate is made within the e-girl community. Like I said, this thread is insanely popular. It has 29 million views, to give you an idea. So there's no other way of doing this than just clicking on these DMs and reading some of them because they are just chef's kiss when it comes to the insanity of e-girls. So. First message saying, gonna say Steph gave me COVID and called me a slur against Asians and the N-word. And if she said she didn't, I'm gonna say that it was my experience. She had hers. I need her canceled immediately. I'm about to Photoshop her saying slurs. Flames emoji. So then they have, this is like a, a common theme in these threads. They'll have these completely innocent girls who are just minding their own business on the internet and they just go rabid. They see someone being normal and they get real pissed. This girl shares a thread about her trying to take her own life before her high school graduation and now celebrating getting her bachelor's degree. This girl replies with petition to get her to try again. For the crime of I uh, existing. Listen, if there's anything anyone can come to me for is doxing and hacking people, I'm scared to post because of her. I hate drama so much. <laughs> I hate drama. And I'm positive I can scare that girl shitless. And she's like insane. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys have the right to call people insane. Right. Of course, referring to this completely fine looking girl, hideous ogre monster with Belle Delphine lips. I just, she just doesn't look like that, bro. Spit out my drink. I know she doesn't. Bro, she looks like a linebacker. This girl. The jealousy and insecurity is absolutely insane. But there's, like I said, tons of threads. We're going to keep scrolling through some. Uh, what's your honest thoughts about this? A picture of someone not showing anymore. Anyways, she's fat and she can die. That's harsh. 
These bitches are so cutthroat, bro. I know, they're so cutthroat. Wish they could be more chill like this girl. Just wish someone to die over their physical appearance. Bro, I don't know. They all have egos. Something, something. Especially that fat, ugly, edited ones. So this girl right here, I'm pretty positive it's the same person here. This is the girl saying that other people have edited photos and making fun of them. Girly, you don't even look human anymore. Like, honestly, she literally photoshopped so hard. She's a different species. Like, this is her post, the one she made with obvious Photoshop. This is a picture someone else took of her. Now, here's the crazy thing. It's sad in a way because obviously a girl like this is so insecure about her appearance that she needs to go to these lengths to change her entire appearance from head to toe. It comes from a place of insecurity and it's kind of sad, but I don't feel bad for her because being insecure doesn't excuse you being a toxic maniac towards other people. It's not an excuse. And also, I don't know if I'm in the minority here, but she looks better here. Like, this looks weird. You look like an alien. This looks natural. She looks perfectly fine. But there was many examples of the crazy Photoshop, but I, I e-girls in Photoshop, like, come on, that's like chocolate and peanut butter. It just goes together, right? Bro, you guys are so funny. I, I'm in love with you all. I can't. Start normalizing fat phobia. I'm crying. Guys, don't cancel me, but I hate the fats. The fats. What did Baldy Cherry ever do to you? I, I don't know what they're even talking about at this point. The arm on baby is hilarious because no amount of FaceTime can make you not obese. Isn't blank Asian though? Mucho texto, I don't care. On their private account, quote retweeting to some random person making fun of their appearance. I don't know what this last part about cancer means. I don't know if that girl had cancer, if that's the case. This is the most foul thing in this entire thread, but nonetheless, yeah, I, I you, you get it, okay? And let's, we'll look at like one more. It goes on for a while. It's giving faking being by for the male gaze. Oh, they're, they're one of these people. <sighs> like, it's not giving ethnic. People who talk like this are always insane, by the way. Like, it's giving, it's giving by for the male gaze. Yeah, anyone who talks like that, wee woo, wee woo, signals, alarms. You're dealing with a crazy person. She's not like the other girls, Usagi. She's worse. It's not giving much at all. Yeah, she's brain damaged. Man, don't effing make out with some random chick in front of my boyfriend die. Valid. You don't need an explanation. I think she sent this, sent me this gift, something. Oh my god, I don't even know what, what they're talking about. Nah, I can't take this. I gotta lie down. I feel so validated. I always thought... I was insane for not liking these women, but maybe I'm just cynical. No, they're all insane. Right. <laughs> they're all insane. You're just the same people. So like I said, 29 million views. People uh, not happy about this. They immediately went out and canceled all the people mentioned, especially these ones. There were some other ones that weren't mentioned in this thread, but every single person included in this, gone. They're either de deactivated, they chose to run and hide, deactivate their accounts or they decided to or they didn't decide twitter decided for them and suspended their accounts now i think the funniest part is down in this list there was one name not mentioned in the thread this girl named amber okay so amber kind of dodged a bullet here okay she was able to get past all the drama by virtue of not being directly mentioned and she would release this apology because people eventually caught on. She has over a million followers on Twitter, by the way. So she makes a terrible apology. People even accused her of making an AI-generated apology. 
It was really bad. She was like the last samurai. You know, she's standing here, the only e-girl in the thread left standing. And she wanted to hold her ground and fight the good fight by apologizing for just being an absolutely scummy person. And then, you know, they make their apology and it comes out on Discord literally the day before. They were doing this, saying that the girl who posted the thread should gay mend herself. And that she's not sorry for anything and was mocking the whole situation. So basically, here we are. What, what was the lesson here? I don't really know. This is just some huge drama everyone's been talking about. The e-girl drama. And like I said, probably the craziest thread of e-girls I've seen this week. I mean, there's, there's plenty more where this came from. And uh, like I said, I wonder if I'll get backlash from this. I don't really know. I think, I think the, the villains in the story are quite weakened at the moment. But if I do go missing in the next 24 hours, you know, the e-girls did it. Okay, and it's been a wild ride, guys. It's been it's been a good time. I've, I've had a lot of fun with you over the years. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share your thoughts about all of this in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.